today's lesson is called climate change. Even fish and trees are moving to escape the heat. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff. My name is Roger, and today we're going to talk once again about climate change. It seems to be the big problem of our times. It、uh, used to be called global warming, but now they're calling it climate change because I guess the whole world isn't heating up the same way. Some areas are hot, some areas are cold. So yeah, we've kind of screwed with the climate there, and、uh, lots of people are considering moving. You know, if you live in、uh, places close to the ocean, you might consider moving into the mountainous areas so your home doesn't get flooded and stuff like that. So not only people are moving, but get this: even fish and trees. Are moving to get away from the heat. How is that possible? Well, with the case of fish, they just swim. I get that part, but I understand your consternation about the whole tree thing. Trees are rooted in the ground. When they move, I mean, they might be swayed by the wind or something like that. But I've never actually seen a tree uproot itself. And walk to a new location. That has never happened to me. I've never seen that, and I don't think it's ever happened、uh, ever. I don't think that's the way the trees work. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a short break and get to the bottom of this. How are these fish and trees moving to escape the heat produced by climate change? Climate change. Even fish and trees are moving to escape the heat. It has long been known that climate change is forcing many land animals and birds to migrate to new habitats. But to the surprise of some scientists, recent studies have shown that fish and even trees are on the move as well. 大家好，第一部分我们看到单字 migrate 这个字是动词，指动物迁徙、迁移、移居。例如 ，every winter the birds migrated to a warmer country. 每年冬季，鸟群迁徙至另一个更温暖的国度。或是 ，my parents migrate to the south of France whenever the weather in Canada starts to get cold. 每当加拿大的天气开始转冷，我的父母会暂时搬去南法住。另外，补充这个字名词 migration, m i g r a t i o n, migration 指动物迁徙、移居，像是。The researchers spent years studying the migration of birds in the northern parts of the United States. 科学家们花了数年研究北美的鸟类迁徙。接着，我们看到片语 on the move， 表示在迁移。例如 ，My sister is a singer, so she is often on the move to different cities throughout the country. 我的姐姐是一名歌手，所以她常奔波于全国各城市间。另外，这个片语还可以表示不断的进展中。像是 the company that makes environmentally friendly products is on the move in the market. 那间制造环保产品的公司在市场上不断壮大。再补充一个同义片语 on the go， 有以下三种用法。第一，表示随时随地。举例来说 ，the smartphone is equipped with internet access on the go. 这款智慧型手机搭载可随时上网的功能。第二，表示边行动边做某事。我们可以说。Because of his busy schedule, Jamal frequently ate lunch on the go. 由于行程紧凑 ，Jamal 常常边吃午餐边做别的事。第三，形容人相当忙碌。例如 ，John never had time to chat with his colleagues as he was always on the go. John 从没空和他同事谈天，因为他都在忙。Okay, so let's talk about the introductory paragraph here. Yeah, we're trying to answer this question. Yeah, how are the fish and the trees moving to escape the heat?、So、like Jeff said, yeah, the fish can easily swim, but trees can they uproot themselves and move along? We'll find out later. But here in the first paragraph, it says. It has long been known that climate change is forcing many land animals and birds to migrate to new habitats. 
So yeah, people aren't moving so much, but I guess animals, land animals, and birds are kind of changing their habitats. Okay, and of course, when animals move around, especially in large numbers from one place to another, we say they are migrating. Sometimes they'll come back, but、uh, a lot of times they'll just go and they'll just stay. I guess that's what migration is. All about now. Climate change is having an effect on migration amongst animals as well. How interesting! Apparently, some animals are moving to new habitats. By the way, the habitat of an animal is where they naturally reside, where they come from, so on, so forth. It's where they live. Now. Back in the day, maybe this animal lived in land A. Now it's living in land B. It's migrating. It's moving because of climate change. How interesting! Anyways, though, land animals like birds and stuff like that. This makes sense to me. They migrate. They move. They fly. But to the surprise of some scientists, recent studies have shown that fish. And even trees are on the move as well. Now I can see how fish can move. The question for me there, though, would be、uh, where are they moving to? But the question of how trees might move or be on the move, so to speak, that's completely puzzling to me. Trees are on the move. They're moving. They're escaping or fleeing a situation. What is going on here? Yep, on the move just means moving. It's a fancy way to say they are moving from point A to point B. So yeah, they're on the move, but、uh, we don't really know how. I think I've figured it out how trees can move, but we'll talk about that later on. The time now is for us to move on to the second part and listen. Over 90% of the heat trapped by greenhouse gases over the last 50 years has been absorbed by the oceans. As the oceans heat up, increasing pressure is placed on fish populations, which cannot evolve quickly enough to adapt to the changing temperature of the water around them. The result: tropical fish are now being found in the temperate zones, and temperate fish are heading to the poles. 第二部分，我们看到动词 absorb， 指吸收、吸取液体、气体等。例如 ，This towel absorbs liquids very well. 这种毛巾吸水力很好。另外，补充一个相关片语 be absorbed in， 表示专注、沉迷在点点点之中。举例来说 ，Sue was so absorbed in her book that she didn't hear me calling her. Sue 太过专注于书本，以至于没听到我在叫她。接下来，我们看到单字 evolve。这个字是动词，指进化、演化。像是 companies need to evolve in order to keep up in the modern world. 为了跟现代世界与时俱进，企业需要进化。或是 musical styles have evolved over the years. 音乐的风格多年来逐渐演化。Okay, moving on. The next paragraph says over ninety percent of the heat trapped by greenhouse gases over the last fifty years has been absorbed by the oceans. And as the oceans heat up, increasing pressure is placed on fish populations, which cannot evolve quickly enough to adapt to the changing temperature. Of the water around them, this is making sense. Usually, evolution is a very slow process. The Earth changes slowly for the most part, and the animals change with it slowly as well. They adapt over time to the changing Earth. But is it possible that human beings have done something to the Earth? 
that it is changing so fast that animals can't catch up adaptation wise that is the question anyways we've got a few things to talk about here first of all if something is absorbed it is taken in to something okay with a sponge let's say you've got a dry sponge and then you put that sponge into a bowl full of water that water is going to go into the sponge the sponge won't be dry anymore it will have absorbed that fluid now apparently the oceans right now are absorbing greenhouse gases and they're getting warmer and apparently there's just too much in the way of these greenhouse gases that the oceans are getting way too warm way too fast and animals they can't keep up they can't adapt quickly enough to how quickly their habitats are changing yep so the heat builds up from the sun because it can't escape because of those greenhouse gases and then the fish populations are put under pressure oh boy it's too hot here guys let's swim somewhere else and usually that means going north or going south where it will be cooler for the fish and yes indeed they cannot evolve quickly enough to adapt to the changing temperature of the water around them so yeah usually what happens in evolution the animals get used to the changing environment and they stay put but that happens over thousands of years and this is happening much faster so they can't evolve quickly enough they can't change over time fast enough and they can't adapt to the changing temperature to adapt here just means to get used to something for example when Jeff and I came to Taiwan of course we probably had to adapt to the humidity here I don't know about you but uh, where I'm from it's uh, not so humid it's quite dry where I'm from so yeah it took some time to get used to the humidity here it took some time to adapt to the hot and humid weather here in good old Taiwan. Uh, I got pretty lucky. I, it didn't take me long to change and to get used to the humidity here because I came from a pretty humid place to begin with. So that adaptation process wasn't that big a deal. By the way, evolve is the verb. Evolution is the noun. And when something evolves, it just doesn't change a little bit in let's say 10, 20, 15 minutes or something like that. It changes over millions of years. And right now, the evolutionary pressure put on fish in these hotter and hotter oceans, that pressure is just too great in the fish. They're not changing quickly enough to adapt and to become well-suited to their new environments. And is this a good thing? Of course not. Anyways, the result of all this, tropical fish are now being found in the temperate zones, and temperate fish are heading to the poles, which kind of makes sense. You leave hot water and you go to somewhat hot water, or you go from somewhat hot water to cold water. Hmm, okay, so that's what they're doing. They're migrating, moving. How interesting. But is this good for the Earth? It can't be. There's just no way it can be. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We've got more for you after this. This poleward migration is having a major economic impact. In Iceland, for example, where fishing is the cornerstone of the economy, ocean temperatures have increased by as much as 2 degrees Celsius over the last 20 years. This increase has caused capillin, the fish that produces the tiny orange roe so prized in Japan, to migrate north and out of Icelandic waters. In 2018 and 2019, there were so few capillin remaining that the fish harvest had to be canceled. With the harvest valued at 143 million US dollars, this outcome was a huge blow to the economy. Poleward, 指朝两极方向移动的。举例来说 ，The news is reporting a poleward shift in the typhoon's course. 新闻正在报道台风的路线向北移。最后，我们看到单字 Celsius 这个字是形容词，指摄氏温度的。举例来说 ，At ten degrees Celsius, it was a very cold day for a hike. 摄氏十度去爬山，真的是非常冷的天气。另外，补充一个相关单字 Fahrenheit。F A H R E N H E I T. 
Fahrenheit 这个字是形容词，指华氏温度的。我们可以说 It was comfortable in the room at seventy degrees Fahrenheit. 室温华氏七十度是很舒服的温度。Okay, so where we left off, we were talking about how the fish are migrating, how they're moving around. So if we're in tropical areas. Like say down in Ping Dong or the Philippines, that's the tropical region of the Earth, and if they move from there into temperate zones, which would be northern Taiwan and Korea and places like that, well then the fish that are in those areas are going to move further north after that, so they'll move up toward Russia and the North Pole. So yeah, we've got these fish migrations going on. So indeed, the pole word migration is having a major economic. Impact. Things are changing. Here we've got the word "pole" word, which means going toward the pole, either the North Pole or the South Pole. The pole word migration, the migration towards the poles, is having a major economic impact. So this can't be good for the Earth, and well, it's not good for people either. It's had a major economic impact. By the way, economic. Of or having to do with the economy of an area, and when I'm talking about the word economy, it's a noun. I'm talking about the business situation in that particular country or place. Our business is succeeding. Our people making money, so on, so forth. And apparently, this migration towards the poles there, it's having a major, a big economic impact in Iceland, for example. Where fishing is the cornerstone of the economy, ocean temperatures have increased by as much as two degrees Celsius over the last twenty years, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it most certainly is. By the way, the cornerstone of something is like the most important part of something. Without that thing. A whole edifice might collapse. So there you go. When we're talking about a cornerstone, we're talking about something that's really important, an important feature, let's say. And Iceland's economy, what we're saying here, depends on fishing. It's the cornerstone of their economy. Yep, the base of the economy, the foundation, the cornerstone. They rely on it mostly. Like here in Taiwan, of course,、uh, high tech companies are the cornerstone of the local economy. So, indeed, in Iceland, fishing is the cornerstone of the economy. So, ocean temperatures have gone up. They have increased by as much as two degrees Celsius. Over the last twenty years, Celsius, of course, is、uh, how temperatures are measured in most of the world, except in the United States, which、uh, still uses Fahrenheit. But、uh, yeah, most of us know Celsius, and the temperature has gone up in the last twenty years. And this increase in temperature has caused capelin, the fish that produces the tiny orange row, so prized in Japan. It has caused them to migrate north and out of Icelandic waters. So I guess they can't catch that fish anymore, which again is a kind of fish that produces those tiny orange eggs. Roe is just basically another word for fish eggs, and they love that stuff in Japan. I think you can have roe on sushi even here in good old Taiwan. There you go. Now let's talk about how big this collapse actually is here. It says that. In 2018 and 2019, there were so few capelin remaining that the fish harvest had to be canceled. Now, remember, fishing is the cornerstone of the Icelandic economy, and they had to cancel this particular fishery. That can't be good for the economy of Iceland. And yes, with the harvest valued at 143 million U.S. dollars. This outcome was a huge blow to the economy. Yeah, this thing that happened, this thing that occurred, this outcome was a very, very big blow to the economy. Or it was just not a good thing for the economy at all. 
So this is a terrible outcome or result. Of these fish swimming away from Iceland. Hopefully, some other kinds of fish will kind of、uh, fill in for them. All right, folks. With that, this part of our lesson is now in the books, and it's time for you guys to hear from the Chinese teacher. Hello, 同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。课文第二部分写到，由于海洋温度升高，鱼群面临的压力与日俱增，它们演化不够快，到足以适应周遭水温的变化。好，文中是用到 evolve 和 adapt 这两个单字，我们分别来学它们的字首字根。好，首先动词 evolve， 它表示进化、演化。那它的字首 e 是来自 e x。表示向外，那么 v o l v e v o l v e 这个字根表示有那种转动啊，或是改变的意思。同学们就可以用这种向外转动、慢慢扩展的那种意向，去联想到 evolve， 它有逐步形成、演进、发展的意思。好，我们顺便补充几个有相同字根的单字。第一个 involve， 它的字首 i n 表示 into 进入，那么 volve。表示 roll 转动滚动的意思，那么滚动进来应该很容易联想到 involve 它有卷入的意思，它可以用来表达卷入、牵连或是包含。第二个补充的是 revolve， 好，它的字首 r e 有返回、再度的意思。volve 表示转动，好，那么合在一起 revolve 它就有旋转、绕着转的意思。第三个补充的是 devolve, d e v o l v e. 好，它的字首 d e 表示 down 向下 ，volve 表示转动、滚动。而这个字呢，是 evolve 的相反词，它具有退化的语义，也可以用来表达将什么什么下放、转移、移交，像是把权力、职责等等下放。好，再来我们看到动词 adapt， 它的字首 a d 带有强调的语义。那么字根 a p t 表示适合、符合，所以应该很容易看出 adapt 它有适应或是使什么适合的意思。好，另外同学们应该也知道 adapt 它有改编的意思。像我们要把某一本书搬上大荧幕的时候，你不可能把每个场景一字一句全部都演出来嘛，必须经过截取、改编，使它符合、适合电影的长度和需求。那用这样的方式，应该可以联想到说 adapt 它有改编的意思。这边补充两个容易跟 adapt 混淆的单字，第一个是 adopt， a d o p t， 在这个单字里面 ，o p t 当动词可以表达选择、挑选，尤其是指优先选择某事物。好，那当我们要采纳某个方法或是要采用某事物的时候，就会做出选择嘛。还有像领养动物的时候，人们也会去挑选出最适合自己的宠物。所以同学们也许可以用这个 o p t。这种挑选选择的语义，去联想到 adopt， 它有采用、采纳或是收养的意思。第二个补充的是 adapt。a d e p t， 好，它可以当形容词或名词。当形容词表示熟练的、擅长的或是内行的；当名词就表示能手、行家。同学们可以把 adapt 当中的 e 来跟 expert 专家或者是 excellence 优秀、杰出来做联想，这样就不容易混淆这几个字了。adapt、adopt、adapt 三个有不同意思哦。好，那么以上是今天重点整理，我们来回顾今天的单字吧。Absorb. Plants absorb energy from the sun, which they use to make their own food. Adapt. After Gary's family moved across the country, he found it difficult to adapt to his new school. Cornerstone. Along with free speech, education is one of the cornerstones of democracy. Celsius. On the Celsius scale, water boils at 100 degrees and freezes at zero degrees. Outcome. The trial finished three weeks ago, and we are still waiting to hear the outcome. Economy. After a long period of no growth, the country's economy is beginning to improve. Well, everyone, today's article has come to an end, and I sure hope you guys enjoyed reading and learning along with us. I am Jeff. I am Roger. See, See you next time. time.